Hello, my wonderful collectives. Welcome to my channel. This is Slava. Good to see you, everybody. All right. All right, all right, my wonderful collectives. Let's do another reading. I decided to do and dedicate this specific reading uh, in regards of your enemy. Who's your enemy? What is his or her characteristic? Why did they decide to cause you harm? And of course, what will be the outcome of their actions? All right, let's start. Let's start. Who's your enemy? Who's your enemy? Who is your enemy? We have King of Wands, we have Two of Pentacles, we have Ten of Wands, okay. All right, in the bottom of the deck I have Ten, uh, I have a Hermit card. Okay, so, who's your enemy? One thing they showed me here, uh, this is briefly, briefly where you're at. Okay, Hermit, Hermit, you, you're searching for truths, you lo you're looking for truths, okay? You, you're trying to figure out what happened. What happened in your life? Uh, taking into consideration that I do have here King of Wands and Ten of Wands, I can uh, with confidence say that your enemy have a direct connection to some sort of masculine. He comes up as a fire sign. Fire sign, you have been in a relationship potentially with this individual. Uh, with Two of Pentacles, you try to keep the balance and make this relationship maybe potentially work. However, it's, it's become more difficult each time. And eventually, you know, you got burdened, your burden. So the cause of your burdens was because of some masculine, some masculine that maybe potentially intentionally complicated your life. Now, I cannot necessarily say that this masculine is your enemy. He more or less, uh, you know, a contributory factor to why you're currently in the position of the hermit. And of course, this individual complicated and burden your life. Um, maybe you put at one point help this person, help this masculine. And by doing so, once again, was you were over tired helping some masculine. Some masculine, okay? Now, what can you tell me about this masculine? What can you tell me about this masculine? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. We have Cave of Swords and we have Three of Pentacles. Okay. Now, the, uh, in the bottom of the deck, I see Two of Cups. I see Two of Cups. This individual had feelings towards you. I'm not saying that he did not. Okay. There, there, there was love. There was feeling over here. However, some sort of community community that this masculine was part of, community, the, uh, once again, that this masculine at one point knows or connected to, they were highly aggressive towards you. So there was a third party involvement. There was a third party involvement directly into your relationship. Simply, community got involved. Community got involved and, of course, was five for once. There was conflicts, and eventually this relationship were simply unbearable to continue. Unbearable to continue. So this all started because of some sort of relationship with a masculine. By two of cups, I can say that um, there was a possibility of being happy together. I'm not saying that you would have not been happy. You would have been happy. And for the longest time, you tried to keep this relationship going. But it's become, was becoming more difficult and difficult and difficult because of the third party involvement. And on top of that, I have secret revenge. There was a revenge against you. So the so someone from that community connected to your ex, some female here, wanted to seek revenge against you secretly. 
behind your back. We have Queen of Swords, a female. She is not necessarily an air sign, but the female that was eager to seek revenge against you. Okay? Revenge was because you were in relationship with this masculine. And she didn't like that. She didn't like that. She has her sword up, meaning she wanted revenge and she's going to take that revenge at any cost possible. And I'm assuming by the high priestess and tower moment, she achieved that. And which once again, you're in a position of temperance, meaning you are healing. You are currently healing or you potentially already healed from this situation. So there was a jealous female that wanted to cause you this harm. Okay? <clears throat> and why? Because of money. All because of money, because she's a materialistic person. So this female, like I said, queen of swords, who she could be? She could be an ex, ex-wife, could be an ex-girlfriend, or simply could be an individual that wanted to destroy your relationship with this person. And she acted secretly. She acted behind everybody's back. And... Uh, I have a sense this hatred towards you, hatred towards you because you were given the offer because you were with this person and not her. So in the bottom of the deck, I have cuts both ways, good and bad aspect, mixed blessing, division. It's kind of like you were, you know, some sort of competition. She was trying to compete with you. She was trying to compete with you. Who's better? Who's greater? Because she potentially had to start it over. Ending it and moving. On trying again. The ex is back. Maybe she wanted to get the ex back. But she's a sneaky. She's a snake. She's going behind everybody back. And was deceitful and lying. Okay? Okay. Deep down, she was either starting over something or simply went behind everybody's back to seek this revenge. To seek this revenge. What connection this female, angry, aggressive, materialistic female has towards the skinko ones? Because this is revenge because of love. Ending. See, something ended here. No second chances. She understand maybe that the ex is left. Left her. Sounds to me like a ex. Ex that uh, was competing with you because this masculine broke up with, with her. Or relationship ended for whatever reason. So she decided to seek revenge because she understood that there will be no second chance given to her. No second chance to her. So she needed to get rid of you. She needed to get rid of you. Addiction. She was addicted. She, she has unhealthy attachment to this masculine. Obsession. Addictions. Her addictions, I feel like, is to causing you secretly harm and continues on ruining your life. Because in her mind, she thinks that you are the reason why her marriage didn't work out. Or why her relationship ended. It's all because of that two of cups. Because the masculine had feelings towards you and of course she's addicted she's a liar her personality she's a liar she could be a single parent okay she could be a single parent meaning not married but she spread a lot of turmoils and a lot of lies i also see text messages social media so she was lying lying on social media mimicking you 
right? Mimicking you. She was out to get revenge. She was lying. Something about text messages, um, social media. She's a sociopathic stalker. Sociopathic stalker that is obsessed and addicted in causing you harm. All because you, at one point, were in a relationship with this masculine. She involved third party. She spread rumors. Third party comes up again. She spread rumors. Use the third party. Okay. Maybe we're hooking up with a with bunch of people in order to get what she wanted. Or maybe she spread rumors that you hooking up with somebody. It's a slander. She's a liar. She is the liar. See, third party, sex, good time. Maybe spread rumors that you, uh, like I said, have other relationship or being in other relationship. Anything, anything could happen here. Rumors up left and centered because she's a liar. Once again, why did this female, this snake, did this? What is her true reason for lying and destroying the life? Because of stability, independence, and wealth. I feel like she lost some sort of finances. Maybe when she was with this ex, uh, she had stability. She had money. She felt comfortable. I think that success and finances are her priority. And I also feel like once that marriage ended for her, we have Empress in return. She become. She, be, she returned back into the position who she was. She has no growth. There is no harmony. There is negligence in her life. There's, she lacks confidence. She's very insecure and fertile. But deep down, she really, really wanted to be successful. She wanted her definition of success is wealth and money. Very materialistic. This individual is very shallow. The most important thing for her is money. Deep down, she's highly immature. She's very insecure. She, she lack of trust. She cannot be trusted. And she's also lacking directions in life. She wanted to be this empress, this successful, but she will not, never going to get it. Why? Because you don't go around lying on people in order to feel better about yourself. You were simply a target of her revenge, so she will feel better about herself. Very deep down, disturbed, lying individual, highly insecure. And since finances for her are the most important, by the tower moment, I can tell you already that she's starting to lose money. There is a destruction in her life. She's confused. She will go through pain, divorce, bankruptcy. This is this competition against you. Competition against you, you understand? So she did. She secretly destroyed your relationship, your life, to its core. You had to start from beginning simply because she's a player and a liar. And a fake that run around town spreading rumors, playing victim. All because she got rejected. <clears throat> and the ability to move forward, deep down she's very afraid. She's continue on repeating the same negative patterns. She never learned these lessons, karmic lessons. She's resisting that change. She's trying to resist this destruction, this tower moment. She continues on doing the same thing she's doing, lying, manipulating, stalking, abusing, harassing, spreading rumors. She is highly narcissistic. And currently, she did not learn her lessons. 
And I'm sure the universe sends her lessons in a way of boomerangs until she learns her lesson. But I don't see that she learned her lessons. It's a continues on because she don't know no other way, you understand? She 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 doesn't understand that sooner or later it's coming it's become a routine to her, you, you see? It's becoming a routine to her. She's in debt, she's overspending. She having financial problem because initially all it was about is once again not only jealousy towards this masculine that because he's being with you and dated you and maybe had feelings towards you. She cannot accept that, that fact. This is the, the reason, the foundation of this delusional revenge to destroy your life by utilizing slander, corruption, falsifying evidence, using your identity on social media, texting people, hacking, stalking. This individual is highly disturbed. And one thing for sure that is happening in her life is loss of finances. She's in debt. In debt. She overspends. Because she, she, what's important for her is to live up to idea. That's the idea she pr wants to present uh, in life, in a community that she's successful, that she's a definition of wealth and importance. She has that grandiose sense of importance about herself. But you cannot turn mosquito into an elephant, right? She simply does not have the set of energies to be the empress. But she knew that you are. So, of course, slander was the only option available for her. Now, in regards of characteristic of who she is and what she looks like, she potentially have light blonde hair. She's a blonde, not natural blonde, but she's probably dyes her hair blonde. Um, same age like you, so she must likely like a light hair, light blonde hair, okay? Blonde. Blonde or light brown, strawberry blonde, this type of hair color. What else about her? She wants again very flashy because she wants to present the idea of success in the community. Because she has nothing else, right? She has nothing else. She's not a true empress. We have moving physical location. Maybe she's planning on moving. We have twin flame. And we have ready to explore. And we have fake pretending beyond means. So she's fake. She's fake. She's continuing on with her games. And she will be interviewed. She will be interviewed. She's scared. She most likely have access to your social media accounts. Or she's hiding behind social fake media accounts. Uh, she may be potentially trying to run away or move her physical location. Or maybe she continues on trying to, to say that uh, you're stalking her. You're stalking her. So point is, this is, this is all fake. This is all fake. This is not true. Now, once again, this female, naturally dark hair, but dyes her hair, maybe. And she's once again connected to your ex, your twin flame. Now, this is, could be his ex-wife, or this is, could be his current wife, or girlfriend, or common-law, or partner, or whatever you want to call it. So, point is, interview is coming here because of gossip. She's obsessed with gossiping, you understand? Blah, 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 gossip. It continues on. She's continuing on gossiping about you. Why? Well, out of jealousy. That's why. Out of jealousy. She's obsessed. She cannot stop talking about you. She cannot stop hurting you and trying to cause you harm. Out of envy 
and utter jealousy. And I have never in my life um, experienced so much jealousy ever. But she's watching you all the time. Watching you. For what purpose? So she can go back and start gossip. Doesn't only happen as she has. Because deep down she 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 is not abundant. There's no abundance in her life. There's no happiness in her life. But your true enemy, connected directly to this masculine, come up as a fire sign and revenge against you through gossip. So interview is coming. Investigation is coming. She will going to have to answer every single gossip that she ever come up, said about you. And believe me, if we have interview coming up already, that means that she is going to be interviewed. She is going to be interviewed about all the lies she spread, about everything she did. So she's not she's not going to get away with it. She's not going to get away with it. She wanted to seek revenge against you, okay? Because of this cutthroat. Giving me that idea of two, two women, right? But I do not feel like you were fighting with her because by the high priestess, it was done behind your back. Like you did, you were not taking any actions against these lies, you see? Like you, you were just living your normal life. You trusted the masculine here that everything will be okay. You did not think that masculine would be affected by this delusional lunatic. She lied. Everything that was ever said about you was a lie. She simply wanted to separate you, that's all, and seek revenge against you. What else can you tell me about this Queen of Swords, her traits and personalities? Show off. Show off. Like I said, materialistic, narcissistic. Needs to prove themselves highly insecure. Exhibitionist. Exhibitionist. She likes to show off. Fancy car, fancy, uh, fancy uh, house, fancy clothes. She's a show-off, highly materialistic. That's all she cares about. You understand? Pathological liar. Entitled. There's this feeling of entitlement. A narcissist. A sociopathic narcissist. Psychopathic narcissist. So, this is very bad. We have facing it. You know something isn't right. Don't be afraid to find out the truth. It will set you free. So once again, don't be afraid to find the truth because you already know the truth, right? You already understand in this situation what exactly was done. What else can you tell me about this individual? Bad news. Bad news. Bad news about this Queen of Swords. She's receiving right now bad news. Because like I said, this revenge just continues on. But she's about to receive a bad news. A bad news that, once again, she what, what was did was bullshit. It's, it's coming to light. Okay. And, of course, she cannot let go. So there's uh, bad news coming towards her. Bad news coming towards her. Like I said, this tower is now reversing. What is this bad news about that she's about to receive or receiving? Well, the bad news that, uh, once again, all of this lies that she's trying to pull up, she cannot let go. She's going to have to let go. So uh, this is going to be quite, hopefully, some reality check in what is happening. And, um, of course, it would not be done without an involvement of law enforcement because whatever this lunatic did is uh, enough is enough. Like, it's too much. It's cross any healthy boundaries. Because she's obsessed. She's obsessed of causing you harm. It's a glitch in her head, you understand? She, she might have lost her mind. Not case. A complete not case. What else about this bad news? Divorce. 
Oh, this card, Queen of Wands here and Revenge. Tune in and lock up. <sighs> Maybe the bad news about the divorce. If this is, or somebody's divorcing here. But there is an ending here, divorce, separation. Or maybe she cooperated with another female here as well that also participated in, in doing this revenge against you because she didn't do it herself. She involved somebody else, some other female, third parties, and they together, like I said, seeking revenge against you. So um, the bad news will be that that revenge, stalking, hacking, and jail, meaning that this whole community and they showing me two female this is could be the same female fire sign and queen of swords that they're that the game is finished the game is finished okay divorce and separation now we have coming together who is coming together toxic unhealthy people unhealthy behavior two or more people discussion yeah they're, they're involving many people to continue on with this slander. It's, it's a highly toxic community, highly toxic individuals, obsessive, abusive. But you need to understand you're protected in this situation, so do not worry too much about it. It's going to be okay. But not good news is coming in here. The news that's coming in towards her is that the games are over. And if she's, like I said, currently with your ex and was a secret person, the other person in this whole relationship, it's a jealous female that wanted to end up, break up, break you up with your ex. That, that's who she was, okay? Who she is. So please said. And she did so through lies. She did so through lies. It was important for her to separate you. All right. Now let's take a look at this um, King of Wands here and this Queen of Swords. I just want to take a look what what are the current status between these two and what is happening between these two. What are the current connection or relationship between this King of Wands and Queen of Swords? What are the currently relationship? Well, there's you. There's you between them. <clears throat> He's thinking about you. He wants to be with you. He's thinking about you. He wants to be with you. But you kind of tur turn away from each other. You're not talking to each other. You you know, you know your backs are turned away. But he's thinking about you, right? He's thinking to make it a way to you. At one point, at some point, maybe, maybe to have a conversation, maybe to talk, to, to clear the air, to find out what's happened, right? So he's thinking about you, right? You, you, you're the one that may make him happy. So he's thinking about you. Now, is he with this other woman? Two of swords. Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. No, there's, there is a restriction. So, uh, w what can I say with this relationship? There is restriction. There is um, Two of Swords. Standing, standing, standing the ground. Okay, I feel like you're constantly trying to prove something to this to this other woman, right? There is restrictions, restrictions. He feel restricted with Eight of Swords. He all constantly have to stand his, his grounds with her. Not happy. There's no, not happy at all. What else? Divine Feminine, family. Access granted social media, crushed, sad, broken, alone, waves. 
No, this sounds to me like an axe. Sounds to me like an axe. An axe that he maybe had family at one point with her, maybe have kids with her. Uh, of course, stalking. She's constantly potentially stalking him on social media. Um, crushed. It's, it's, not, it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling, right? Fake. A lot of fake. A lot of anger. Just, just not happy, right? Because everything here is coming out to light about what was done. Coming out to light. So, most likely, and on top of that investigation... So everything is coming out to light here. Whoever this female is, we have interview as well, you see. So your ex slowly but surely finding out the truth and extent, the level of extent this other woman have taken to intentionally break you up, break you up. And he, he is understanding that maybe one day one day, if God willing, I will see her again. I will see you again. Because you made him happy. There's love. There's feelings towards you. Okay. This other woman is all by force. By force, by lies, by manipulation, by restrictions. You know. So deep down... He, he thinks of you. He thinks of you. Now, was this other woman? She's stalking him. This is There's family here involved. Kids involved. Inner circle. It's too complicated. It's too complicated and too much drama. And honestly, like, I don't blame you for it. If you ended a relationship and if you walked away, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You will always remain someone very special in this masculine heart. Very special. What else can you tell me? Masculine feelings towards you? Enemy, watch your back. I have blocked. So yeah, there, there's a lot of blockages here. Balance the between the lines. Look for what's hidden. So once again, you could cannot be together. You cannot be together because of this other woman. Because of this involvement of third party. They watching both of you. You understand? Monitoring. Continue to creating obstacles so you do not talk, so you do not communicate, so you do not meet with each other. Okay? We have I'm sorry, we have finances, and we have snake. Maybe she ca she keeps him by money because she's highly not materialistic, you understand? Highly materialistic. Okay, what messages do I have for you in your near future? In your near future, I have a new romantic lover coming in. New man, new person, your soulmate. So in your future, in your near future, you're going to meet a new person. And this is actually from two different decks. I don't know, my decks are all mixed up. <laughs> so you're going to have a new romantic partner. New lover coming in for you. And family, see? Family and son and happiness and bear the strength. A real protector, a true love. So, of course, you don't need any, any drama from your past because the future is amazing for you. Everything will be placed on its, on its places. Truth will prevail in regards of your pain and suffering because of some delusional, crazy nutcase that wanted to seek revenge against you and separate you. You don't need this Santa Barbara. 
You will have a beautiful family, family based on love, true love, family that is based on happiness, joy, protection, strength. You have very powerful men here, very powerful. I can assure you that whatever techniques was utilized to separate you and that ex of yours will work on this masculine. They're, they're opposite. They're, they're polar opposite. I have moon and sun. You're coming in from lies, deception, weak weakness, being with partner who are potentially insecure themselves, shallow, not strong enough to being with somebody who is powerful and once again who is truly is given to you for everything you've been through as a protector see i have a key key he is your key to happiness and to new life you're going to be riding a rainbow meaning that you are going to get whatever it is you want you're going to be happy regardless so do you see, even though you have been through a difficult journey in life, but at the end of the day, you will realize it, that whatever it is you've been through, worth it. Because you will be more than happy. More than happy. What else about this new, new person? Temptation. Oh, who is that? Temptation, temptation. Desire, or somebody else here desires you, right? When you're going to be in a relationship with this masculine, maybe the ex will come back and trying to, to tempt you, okay? So be ready. Try not to be tempted. This is this is more of a message. Try not to be tempted uh, with anything. Stay true to your wishes. Stay true to who you are because the chances are that ex may, may also try to contact you after the truth will prevail about everything. Maybe not. I'm just saying, do not do anything that you will regret in the future. Knowing that this incredible person is coming into your life. Okay? So true love. I cannot say the same about your enemy, okay? Your enemy has to lie, gossip, stalk, harass, manipulate. Because deep down, she's either not feel loved or feels that nobody loves her. This is not your case. And once again, the reason why you were targeted by this no, no, other no, no, woman... No, no, no. So the only reason why you got targeted by this this other woman um you just by accident end up in in a very toxic environment uh, maybe potentially the partner you have chosen to be with were toxic themselves you could have not be your authentic you in this darkness in this mud so once again it was doomed it was doomed. It was too much negativity. And no matter how incredibly bright, unique, and amazing you truly are, God took you away from that situation. And of course, because you followed the correct path, you were true, remain true to yourself, you, of course, relevantly will be rewarded with numerous blessings. In regards of your karmics, in regards of this sociopathic two females here we've seen that are obsessed with ruining your life, um, they'll get what they deserve. Believe me. It's already begun. All right, my wonderful collectives. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.